Hello and welcome back to the Demis Helen channel. We're going to be talking about this little box down here, which is called Note. We've done this on the channel before, but there's been a few questions since then about what is Note and how do you use it? Why have you used it in your presets before? So let's use a case scenario where we don't want a certain sound to play in a certain area. Now, Note, think of this as the bottom of the keyboard. And if you go right across, this is the top of the keyboard. So Note starts here to here. So before this happens, let's go to the level. Let's turn up the sub level here. Now, if I play this on the keyboard, we've got a low note and we can hear it across the whole spectrum. So we can hear that sine wave across everything. So we want to control it so that if you choose to play this sound effect, say on C6, we don't want a pure sine tone to come through. We want it to be pretty much quiet and only hear it for the lower tones to give it some weight. So the way that we can control this is using note. So I'm going to turn the level up and I'm going to drag this down. And the reason for doing the level at maximum and then reversing the effect instead of doing it from quiet to loud is because this graph makes more sense if we do it this way. So now this is going to be quiet. This is going to be loud. So now if I use the keyboard to hit a variety of C's up the scales, you're going to hear that that sine tone is going to get louder based on the setup that we have. And that is exactly what we don't want to happen. We want this to be the other way around. So we're going to reverse this back. So I'm going to put this level to zero and this way back. So now we're operating the other way. So if we turn this up to the top, for example, we're going to hear those sub notes. But we're also going to hear the high notes. So we can see that that is full volume. So look at that graph as now just a volume level. So I'm going to double click somewhere around here and here. I'm going to bring that down and bring this node down and I'm going to leave a bit of a ramp so there's no clicks and pops that can happen. And now we're only going to hear the low notes and the high notes are going to be muted. So now you can see I'm hitting higher on the keyboard. You can see on the keyboard down below where I'm hitting and we can hear no sign tones now. So now that we've got these oscillators activated, if we jump into the matrix, we can see somewhere on this list that we're going to have note. I think it's going to be the bottom one. And you can see full volume and you're going to see the sub level. So up here is going to be full volume. If we hit a say C7 or C8, you can see it's not actually triggering, it's turning off the sub level. So you can see it's down at zero. So no sound at all. If we just make sure that is working, let's watch that again. I'm hitting that C7, 8 up there. So you can fine tune this so we can see there's a few level differences between those. I just want it sort of to be a lot in the C one to C2 range, for example, you can just tweak this graph down here to mimic that. You can just hit a key. So let's say up to here, you can see it's silent. So we can just drag it over. We don't want it that loud, but we can just tweak it a little bit there and it shows you where exactly you can draw your graph. So that is the reason why you would use Note. Hopefully that will open up some different ideas for you when you're designing presets. If you have any questions about what you've seen in the video today, let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy the video so you don't miss any more future tips and tricks. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.